Yeah, I would, man. But, uh, this kid showed up. Says he's the general's son. Please, Dad, don't leave me here. I want to go with you. Why did you call me Dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Who told you that I was your father? What do you mean? Nobody told me. You just are. Right. Of course I'm your father. Good. For a second, I thought you forgot who I was. Now let's hurry up and get out of here. All right. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? What? You don't believe me? No, no, I totally do. What I mean is, thanks. Now let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, Sturgis. Fire it up. Didn't leave anything behind, did you? All set to get out of here? Absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. I'm gonna teleport you to the detonation site. Then set it to shoot the kid here back to the castle. Now you press that button extra hard when you get there. I'll see you on the other side. Sturgis figured this was a safe distance outside the blast radius. Whenever you want to see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke, just hit that button. over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. Now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Holy shit, that was one hell of a bang, wasn't it? So that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. Yeah, we gave everyone a chance to get out. Good, I thought so. 
It was just watching that explosion. I just hope as many people as possible got out. I hate that we had to do that. But they left us no choice. It was war. But now, the war against the Institute is over. The way is now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come together and build something good for the future. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. What? No sunshine and rainbows? Next you're going to tell me I'm not getting a pony. (laughs) If I had any ponies to hand out, you'd be first on my list. We could never have gotten here without you, General. The Institute was the most insidious threat we've ever faced. They kept the Commonwealth divided for centuries. But there are plenty of other problems left to deal with. I don't think the Minutemen are going to be out of a job for a long time yet. As much as I might wish it. We deserve to enjoy our victory. But soon enough, it's going to be time to get back to work. Hey. This better be worth. You need to talk. Your thoughts? I guess that's the end of that. No more Institute holding the Commonwealth hostage. Hell of a job you did there. Hell of a job. That was all. Fine by me. You ask me. Freedom's always worth fighting for. The Institute should have just kept to themselves down in their little underground paradise. Hey there. I'll never understand why the Institute didn't just leave us alone. 